it's just stuff. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we're doing a perfect square trinomial, what perfect square trinomial tells us is if we have a term that's a squared um, plus uh, two a b plus b squared. If we can find a trinomial that's in that format, then we can rewrite it as a plus b squared. Okay, and the same thing if we have a squared minus two a b plus b squared, we can write that in the format of a minus b squared. All right. So basically, if we're going to do this, you guys, we know how to factor this, right? You could do, you could easily just do this. 25 and 10. What two numbers multiply to give you 25? What two numbers add to give you um, 10? You could say 5 and 5, right? And done, factored. But what's nice about this is, you know, sometimes it might be even a little bit more difficult if we have square terms. But what we want to do is, is a squared and x squared, is that a squared term? So basically what you do is you say a squared is equal to x squared. b squared is equal to 25. Does everybody agree with me? What I'm trying to make a relationship between these two, right? Because you guys can start doing this in your head. You don't need to show all this work. If I take the square root of both sides, then I have a is equal to x and b is equal to 5. Would everybody agree with me? Yes? And then is my middle terms, is my middle term 2 times x times 5? Yes. So therefore, rather than doing the factoring technique over here, you can simply just say, this is x plus 5 squared. That's the factored form. Done. Now, why is this so beneficial? Why would this be helpful?